Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with another Vault Tech Workshop DLC video. Today I wanted to show you guys how to implement Vault into your settlements in Fallout 4. And by settlements, I'm not talking about Vault 88 which comes with the DLC itself. I'm talking about the settlements in the base game itself because sometimes it doesn't mesh properly and sometimes it's really hard to find the space to build these types of vaults in the base game because they're such a big type of mass to build and there's not enough space in the main game. So what I'm going to show you guys is two examples of builds I did. One in Warwick Homestead and the other was in Jamaica Plains. And what you have to do is properly build to the space that's given to you. And that's natural in any type of settlement build. But for this one, it's specific because for example, here at the Warwick Homestead, we have a lot of open space. We have a lot of grass. So for me, I'm gonna use the wide halls here. Now naturally, that doesn't look too right when you set up just these hallways that go straight into your settlement. You wanna surround it, make it look like it's a natural part of the build that you're making here. So what I did was actually take some support beams and surrounded the settlement almost like it was a defense. And then I set up turrets on the top and connected a fusion generator to the side and then started spreading power along my settlement. So now you actually have a clean look of a vault entrance. And on top of that, you have a hidden generator. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me where you're a little nitpicky and you want it to all look clean. You don't want generators sticking out like a sore thumb. So this is a good spot for it. I also actually ended up putting stairs leading up there so settlers could overlook what's going on outside the wasteland and it seems like a natural protection for the area that Warwick Homestead is placed in. As for Jamaica Plains, I found this nice square area that was ideal for setting up a social gathering slash cafeteria area. And so what I did was actually ended up hooking up a bunch of experiments here, but also a place to gather all the settlers. So I started off by building a natural entrance with the domestic parts. And this is the toughest part, is actually building the room itself because there are so many different parts, so many corners and everything. So it's easy just to build a hallway and then you have to properly align right next Next to that hallway itself because sadly each of the vault room pieces such as the security or the cafeteria don't have hallways in their own right so you have to build and connect between different ones and sadly they don't connect exactly so you have to just place them right next to each other just to make it neat and if you do it right it'll look fine as you'll see in the end product of this. Now my technique to naturally connecting experiments into this room without having a million and one wires running around and having it look all messy is to strategically place windows in the spots that I want to have the experiments. So for example, I put a soda machine here and that's where I'd have the wires running through on the outside. And then the same thing would go for the slot machines and then you connect one and then you could connect all of them. And once again, I had the fusion generator tucked away outside. After that, I filled up the room with the television, some tables and all that type of stuff. And this essentially became this gathering area. I also put inside a bar so I could generate caps, but also it was a natural addition to this settlement because this was a cafeteria-esque area, so obviously there's gonna be food being sold. So this was less of a tutorial and more so me just showing you guys how I implemented vaults into my natural settlements and I just wanted to share my ideas with you guys. And a lot of comments I've been getting are people asking how exactly am I supposed to put a vault in my settlement? Obviously you just build it like you would in anything in the settlement mode but it just doesn't look right. So I'm hoping you guys can appreciate the more natural builds I've taken to this. Obviously it's not going to look entirely normal but still I thought it was pretty cool and it's something I wanted to share with you guys today. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Other than that be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are, as always, in the description down below. Check out TriggerBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.